Hi and welcome to this Substance Painter tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at a colour gradient. Uh, so the colour gradient, uh, much like in other things, uh, will project onto a black mask and add colour to it. Uh, I say mask, a black image, a black texture or layer, however you want to think about it. So first of all we need that black layer, uh, or black and white grayscale layer. Uh, so I'm just going to turn everything off except colour and rough. I'm going to add uh, rough to one and then we're going to add one of our texture masks over here or texture maps over here to it. Um, you don't have to use a texture map, you could paint it if you wanted to, uh, you could use a generator, anything that you know, will turn this layer uh, into grayscale. So I'm just going to grab this uh, grunge over here and pop it in and that gives me a nice kind of place to start. We've got you know some dark, we've got variations of grey up to white. Um, but what we want to do is to turn it to colour. So if I right click and add filter and then on the filter selection I'm going to pick gradient. So when I did that you might notice that it kind of changed immediately because at the moment it's or uh, original it's a full like 256 grayscale image or more perhaps um, and then when I turn it on it's down to three levels three three colors here we just have to start out of black and white or black gray and white I can increase the amount of colors I'm using uh, so we could perhaps increase this to uh, four and it will give me another level so if I turn this to uh, white and this one to a lighter grey uh, I could change the positions in my gradient to accommodate for that you shouldn't have any one colour at the same position because you know they're just going to clash and interfere with each other and it won't you know really include one or other of the colours so we can see that at the moment this black is projecting to value of zero and that's doing our background quite nicely. Uh, grey we can change then perhaps to a red and that's what we'll get. Uh, I don't want to turn it to a red I'm going to go for somewhere around there perhaps a bit darker. There we go and then our third colour we can pick what we want. Perhaps go down to yellow for this one and make it a bit brighter and then at the end We'll go for a really bright orangey colour. Perhaps with not quite so much saturation as that. There we go. So as you can see we've successfully projected all of our colours you know onto that grayscale map. Uh, I haven't changed the black because I didn't want to uh, but of course you can. Um, that's pretty much why I didn't change it because <laughs> it just blows everything out. Um, so you know you could really take any of your um, black textures, black and white textures, uh, and project colour to it, and you know that could add real kind of information and real kind of finesse to like a dirt layer, instead of it just being you know levels of grey or um, you know using multiply or divide or you know uh, any of the blending modes, you can actually put colour into it, yeah, you know, and control the colour that it's using. So I hope you found that useful um, and I will talk to you in another video.